something that's more secure or it's more shareable or it's more engaging or whatever. There's going to be a whole lot of different things. But I think the things that we can agree on is that um, digital is now driven by customer expectation. You know, customers expect to engage with us in a digital sense. And, but you know, on top of that, it's, it's not just customer expectation, it's that, uh, like I said, the competitive environment. So if we didn't have competition, well, we could take our sweet time giving digital solutions, but we've got a whole lot of competition and so, and not just me, I mean, every company out there. And so that we, we have to do this stuff. We need uh, executive teams when we're gonna be doing digital stuff. And again, I'm talking about building digital product. We need them to um, lose control. They be comfortable with not having the control that they might have had in the past. And there's an incredible amount of trust that needs to be built with people who they're going to be giving control to. That's, that's a really tough part of this is, is uh, how do you quickly build up trust? You're bringing in new expertise to the company, but you're going to have to trust these people with the, uh, the uh, keys to the car. My role is actually to step back and make sure the system's working. So when people come to me and say, hey, uh, can we get this thing done? I'm usually, I don't know, maybe. maybe. Let's go and you know, feed that into the system and see if it makes sense. Uh, so the system, you know, it, it could be something you could draw on a whiteboard, but it won't necessarily be very accurate and it probably won't stay very accurate for very long. But it's all the, um, uh, the bits that lead to, it's, you know, the, the forces that influence uh, uh, what's going to come out of your um, uh, product development process. A historical process for how they ran things was very much, we want to um, come up with an idea, we want to deliver it on time and on budget. And that's what success looks like for us. We've, you know, we've got a whole lot of data and analytics. We think this will be a, a good idea. So what happens is, well, let's, um, let's pressure, you know, we've got dates to hit, we'll do whatever it takes to deliver something. Hey, the good things, we deliver a product and our revenue increases. But there's a whole lot of systemic effects that really affect, uh, I, I guess, the long-term viability of something. And that's uh, probably the, unrecognized thing in product development is, well, we talk about speed, we talk about getting stuff to the customer and de delivering value quickly, but we also need something that's sustainable. So in this instance, the system shows you that, well, we've delivered something, we've probably done it in a pretty good uh, time frame that we'd, uh, uh, someone had decided on at some point before, but we're going to have a whole lot of um, uh, effects on top of that, and you can read that for yourself, but a, a lot of those things are kind of under the covers and they get ignored in, a, um, uh, in I guess, companies that are evolving to be digital-led uh, companies.